that when we go to the white church, you know, we see Jesus depicted with blonde hair, blue eyes. We go to black church, we see Jesus depicted as a black man. And then he kind of said that overall in America, you know, it seems like Jesus is mostly uh, depicted as a, a white person. But he asked a question when he was here on this earth that he was here for 30 some years. And he wanted to know what, what color was he when he walked the face of this earth? See, a, I, I think that's a, a fantastic question. So questions on the table. Who, who goes first? Clearly Jesus was Jewish. He is the descendant of Abraham. He's the son of David. Um, and so we know his ethnicity. He was a Jew. He was a full-blooded Jew in, in his human nature. Um, and we can even go a little further, I think. Um, the Bible says that, you know, one place that Jacob and Esau were twins, and Esau was all red hair. And another place, Song of Solomon, Solomon's hair was like raven, uh, black as a raven. So we see some black hair, some red hair in the Jewish people. David was described as ruddy and good looking. Yes, a lot yes. of people would say that about me, right? right? No. <laughs> which, uh, which part? But uh, yeah. well, you know what's interesting? You know, the, the word ruddy there is the word red for red. Edom. Yeah. And you wonder if David had red hair because it said he has beautiful eyes right. and ruddy. Now, when we see someone, we typically describe them by their hair. And so I've, I've conjectured, did, was David, did David have red hair? Um, but, you know, regardless of those pictures and, and what might have been in his, his, in his genetic pool, he was Jewish, probably an olive-colored skin. Um, and clearly, you know, I think there's a range of what it could have been for his hair color. Just from clearly, you know, I think there's a range of what it could have been for his hair color just from looking at the scriptures. Again, seeing the red hair, the dark hair. And, and, you know, Don, we just got back from that land. It's a beautiful land. And I hope all those who are watching, I hope God gives you your dream someday to go to Israel. Um, at one point, we have an interesting passage in Numbers 12 where it says Moses was married to an Ethiopian woman. Right. Right. So, you know, there's probably some mixed genetics within uh, the gene pool of the Jews themselves coming out of Egypt with a mixed multitude, you know, Ro, Ro, uh, Rahab, the, the Moabite, or the, Ruth the Moabitess, you know, what was the Moabite? Again, um, uh, def definitely a Middle Eastern type of skin color, not white, not black, but somewhere, you know, what we'd, all of... Jewish and Hebrew, mm -hmm. but Christ is whomever he needs to be to you. Paul said to the Jew, I became a Jew. To the uh, Greek, I became a Greek. And so the Christ part of him, yeah. he's whoever yeah, he right. wants us to be. There's no color of who he is in Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus didn't have any of man's DNA, correct? Correct. Correct. He didn't have Mary's DNA and he didn't have Joseph's oh, DNA. Mary's yeah, how could he? Well, yeah, I'd have how to could say he? disagree with you on that. Well, I mean, tell Jesus me, tell is, me. He, 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 you know, we, we have to confess that he's fully human in right. his human nature and fully man or fully God in his divine nature. And so if he isn't human. No, no, you, you misunderstand my yeah. question. Okay. My, no, I know he had DNA. Okay. I'm not arguing that. No, he, oh, okay. full, he's okay. fully man. He had DNA, but he didn't have Mary's DNA. He didn't have, uh, he didn't have uh, <clears throat> Joseph's DNA. He had new DNA created by God for him. He had DNA that was created by God. Middle Eastern would because God intended him to be Middle Eastern. He intended him to be Jewish. Descendant of Abraham, he's the son of David. Um, and so we know his ethnicity, he was a Jew. Hey, if you're with me, there is no other DNA that follows Jesus' DNA. Hey, if you're with me, there is no other DNA that follows Jesus' DNA. Descendant of Abraham, he's the son of David. Um, and so we know his ethnicity, he was a Jew. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Recha, Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect. I want to go in this video here. I'll just try to hit the points real quick. Um, I've done uh, videos in the past on this uh, on this topic. Okay. And um, these pastors, they just have it, no clue, man. You know, this is also white supremacy. And the Jake is, <laughs> you know, the you know the Jakes that's sitting up there, they ought to be ashamed of themselves, man. They hear this white pastor clearly trying to uh, label uh, the one you call Jesus as a Jew. And the Jewish people don't even uh, recognize the one you call Jesus as even a prophet. Okay, they don't even like them, right? They don't even recognize them, man. But they're the chosen people, 
Okay, and Jewish the Jesus was not Jewish. Yahweh, he's saying Jesus. Yahweh was not Jewish. He was just simply a Jew. And I'm not going to say simply. He was a Jew from one tribe. Yahweh. He was a tr from the tribe of Yahweh, Judah. Okay. That, and, and everybody knows that. But these, you know, this gets you like really the hell worked up, man. You know, that ideology of doctrine that they're pushing on our people, man. And I'll prove it through the scriptures real quick. I'll make this fast, you know, where the spirit goes to prove you that there's, they are out of their damn mind. And it, and those, like I said, those preachers, those other pastors sitting up there accepting it. And then the other simp pastor, he says, it doesn't matter. G Jesus is what you make it. But when you read Revelation 1 and 1, um, let's get there real quick. It says here, Revelations 1 and 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah, which God gave unto him to shew unto the servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by the angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of Yahweh, the word of God, and of the testimony to Jesus Christ, and all things that he saw, right? For all the things that he saw. You go down to 14, it says his head and his hairs were white like wool. That's different strikes. So if this Jesus, the one you call Jesus, Yahweh was a white man, why when they had painted him with white hair? Right? Why did they cover, cover up the picture? See, in order, like I said in the last video, in order to uh, um, tell a lie, you had to know the truth. You had to cover up the actual image, the, the original image. What was wrong with the original image is because the original image showed him as being so-called black and not Middle Eastern. The damn pastor sitting up there right now looks like a Middle Eastern color. So-called. the hell out of here. Olives are, are green, black, and uh, red. And he damn sure wasn't green, and he damn sure wasn't red. Okay? His hair like wool is white as snow. His eyes was a flame of fire, and his feet like a fine brass. As if they burned in a furnace, okay? Burned past tense. How the hell are you gonna be white? And let's go into the thing where he said ruddy. So look, Jesus, the one you call Jesus, was not a damn zebra. He wasn't white up top and then black in his feet. The hell out of here, man. That's that that white supremacy. They can't let go, man. The truth is out. Uh, this is Samuel 17 and 42. First Samuel 17 and 42. And when the Philistines looked about and saw David, he disdained him for he was but a youth and ruddy and a fair countenance. See, they tried to switch that fair and make it seem like he was white. Fair has nothing to do with white. Okay. And ruddy, uh, that has nothing to do in this text with red. Okay. Ruddy, when you look at these pictures, which I'm putting up now, when you look at these pictures, the, you know, Jake is ruddy. We have, first of all, that means a healthy continence. Okay, now the brother did put that in the last video. Uh, the brother left a comment on there. He put in the last video. As I've done that on videos before that as well. Uh, let's go to the International Standard Version. It says, when the Philistine looked and saw David, he had contempt for him because he was only a young man. David had a dark, healthy complexion. That's what that means when it said ruddy and fair, dark, healthy complexion, and was handsome. Now, this pastor, it's so much this pastor said. This pastor also said that um, the, uh, Jesus had to be Jewish. So they put the, the uh, example in your mind that he was like these the people over Israel today. Okay? Which when you do the history, they stole that identity. They stole that land. And then he also contradicted himself by saying that Moses messed with um, a, uh, an Ethiopian woman. Okay? So that would have meant he had to been uh, a mixed DNA, a mixed genetic, would made, would made them brown. So why don't people in Israel calling themselves the pure Jews then? If he looked Middle Eastern, which those people in Israel don't, and they tried to say, well, they was, uh, they're a little darker complected because you live over there. Now they put themselves over there in the Dispensation Act in 1948. Come on, man. 
See, the sheeple don't know no damn better. They're just white people that uh, have formed in some form of a tan. Okay? Get the hell out of here, man. That just doesn't make any sense. Everything they're saying doesn't make any sense. Just because Moses married an Ethiopian woman, just because he was with an Ethiopian woman, don't have anything to do with complexion. See, they don't label the Ethiopians as black because they're trying to put you you so-called Negroes in that category as uh, all uh, so-called Africans. Okay? That's all they're trying to do. They're not trying to tell you that you was a so-called, uh, that you are an Israelite. See, the Israelites couldn't be so-called black. So it didn't matter what Moses, uh, as far as the skin complexion, it was the nationality that made the difference. It was just a different nation. Like you would never go into 7-Eleven and they would be sitting in there and they would say, hey, I'm a Negro. Okay? Them people in the Middle East would never say, hey, I'm a Negro. Even though some of them are darker than us. Talking about the complexion. He was Middle Eastern complexion. Middle Eastern got a range of complexions now to date. Before they was uh, uh, raped, robbed, and murdered, and, and taken out of the land of uh, Egypt and several other places. So what the hell is these guys talking about, man? It still boils down to, if you say Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern ain't just light skin. Middle Eastern range from very light to very dark. Still, to this day, what the hell are these guys talking about, man? There's so much to go on, uh, these guys said. Let's go to Lamentation, okay, uh, to get understanding. It says, her Nazarites were purer than snow. They were whiter than milk. They were more ruddy in body than ruby. So we just got to came to the understanding what ruddy meant, okay, and fair. This whole scripture breaks down itself. When it says purer than snow, that word snow actually means uh, a continence. Let's go to that. Uh, these guys, you know, but they don't know, okay? Lamentations 4 and 7, her Nazarite was purer than snow. So let's go with this um, snow. What does snow means? It just means snow, white, okay? But let's go on down to um, they were whiter than milk. So they'll say, uh-oh, they were all white. First of all, you have to understand Esau, the so-called white man, don't have complexion. So he doesn't get a pass for any complexion. He's just red because the blood shows through the skin. So when you look at Ruddy, it that has nothing to do with the blood. You know? It just has everything to do with complexion. And Esau didn't have a complexion. It just showed his blood through the skin. Okay, um... Pira, or uh, Pira, it says to be dazzling, be a glow, to a glow. It had nothing to do with white, man. Okay, so when it says they were whiter, it just means to be dazzling. That's all that meant, whiter, dazzling. So when you go back to David being ruddy, he was, uh, he was ruddy in continence, which means he was dark and dazzling. Okay, it fair, was healthy. It's all that saying, man. You know, but this is the trickery they put on us. Now I'm switching gears to the next edition of the video. He said that uh, Jesus didn't have any lineage. They didn't have any DNA. This was a God-made DNA. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Oh, no doubt he was special. It was all about the spirit, number one. It was about the spirit. And he was definitely, you know, the most special man to walk the earth, okay? Okay, it says, um, um, let's go on to Revelation. Let's go to, um, let's go to Galatian. Let's go to Galatian. Let's go to Galatians 4 and 4. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman made under the law, meaning Joseph had to have sex with Mary. Now, everybody knows if you read Paul, he said the Lord is not an author of confusion. And this pastor is saying, well, everybody can make God what he wants to make it. If you want to make him Chinese, you could be Chinese. Where the hell is that in the scriptures, man? You just can't make God what you make Jesus what you want to make him. This is why Paul said, well, I mean, uh, John Revelator uh, depicted him. 
This is what Daniel 7 and 9 was talking about. This is why it was depicted. Because he knew there would be devils that would be sitting up here trying to change the whole narrative of what he looked like. The whole character. This was a part of our awakening, man. Now we know. You know? So I don't give a goddamn what anybody else say. We know. The Lord was made under the law. Okay? He was made under the law. What is the law? Sex. So yes, he had DNA. He had a lineage. The hell are these people talking about? Let's get that. Let's go to Matthew 1 and 1. The book of the generations of Jesus Christ, the son of David and the son of Abraham. Why would he say he's the son of David? If we know he had sex with uh, Joseph, I mean, we know that Joseph had sex with Mary for, in order for him to be uh, who he is. So even if you say, well, you know, he was just placed there. Well, why is Jesus being called the son of David? This is reincarnation, man. Who was the son of David? Solomon. So this proves that Jesus Christ, the one you call Jesus, Yahweh was the son of David and Solomon. And when you read on down, it talks about his lineage. This is here for a reason. Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac begot Jacob. Jacob begot Judas and his brethren. And it goes all the way down. The generations from Adam to David. Okay. For 14 generations from David until carrying away to Babylon. The 14 generations. Okay. Um, carrying away into Babylon until Yahweh Another uh, our 14 generations. And it goes on to talk about the birth of, of Jesus. Let's go to Revelations 1 and 1. I mean, we have Revelation... Uh, it looks like 22 and 16. It said, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. He said, he's the offspring. This is physical flesh. Come on, man. This is crazy. See, what they're trying to do is take the specialty of the Israelites from Yahweh right? Yahweh we're still the the Israelites are still the lineage of 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 so, you know, and this is why they're trying to say, well, Moses had sex with Miriam and I mean, um, Salakia. Moses had sex. Moses had the Ethiopian wife, so they had to have uh, a mixed lineage. It has nothing to do with that. The lineage comes from the father. And one of these guys has actually said it. I believe the father is the one that produced it. You read Numbers uh, 1 and 1. I believe it's Numbers 1 and 1, the first chapter, when it talks about that. Also, when you go to Numbers, the uh, 12th chapter, let's get that real quick, too. Um, the knowing that there's di a difference between uh, different blacks and different whites. Now, white in Lamentation was describing a good thing. Let's see what Numbers 12 and 10 is describing, okay? Um, it goes on to say, let me go to nine. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them. Okay. Miriam and Aaron and de he departed and the cloud departed from the tabernacles and behold, Miriam became leprous white as snow. So why didn't uh, Aaron become leprous white as snow? Why didn't Miriam only because the Lord deals with order. So you mean to tell me that the Lord sent his son through a woman to be born, but the father had nothing to do with it? Get the hell out of here, man. You know? First of all, that's uh, when you're dealing with uh, nurturing, the father's a nurturer too. That's what they're trying to pull out. This feminist BS about the woman up on high. Okay? A father will nurture his son, man. In this society, it doesn't happen like that. But the father will nurture his son, so Joseph would have had to been a big part of the one you call Jesus' life and even impregnating Mary to do so. So he would have that spirituality of being a great nurturer to his, uh, to his son. Okay? Oh, boy. And the cloud departed off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous white as snow. Okay? Leprous, a skin disease. The Lord is not going to send his son is, is leprous. 
That's what they're saying. The Lord's not sending his son is leprous. Get the hell out of here, man. You know? And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not that son upon us. So they, the most high listened to Aaron. It wasn't about women. You know? This is ridiculous, man. But this is what these uh these devilish pastors would do. And then, you know, a lot of these Pastors are sold out. They're lost, man. They would do anything for the buck. That's all I have on that, Shalom.